after years of study and polling, the city of Lansing is putting hundreds of thousands of dollars toward a plan that promises to change the way that racial disparities are handled and improve racial justice within the city's workforce. In a 62 vote on Monday, Lansing City Council voted to allocate $300,000 to Mayor Andy Shore's racial justice plan. The plan is a result of studies and polling done within city departments. And it's going to be used to train, purchase software, purchase training modules for new employees, build capacity so that we can actually have our staff department heads um, embrace racial justice work and equity work here in the city. The city has been looking at ways to address inequality and racial justice and had established groups to look at these issues both in 2019 then again last year, but not everyone is happy with the plan. Patricia Spitzley is an at-large member of council who also happens to be running for mayor. She was one of two council members to vote against the plan because of the way some of the recommendations were made. When you require folks to not sign non-disclosure agreements to provide you with recommendations and policies and procedures that impact not only the residents of the city of Lansing, but also the employees of the city of Lansing, that's a tainted process. Councilwoman Kathy Dunbar also voted against the measure. She is also running for mayor. In a statement emailed to Fox 47 News, Dunbar says she had concerns about the plan because it failed to mention how complaints would be investigated and resolved and how people in violation would be held accountable. Dunbar and Spitzley aren't alone in their criticisms. Community activist Michael Lynn, a former city firefighter who is suing the city for discrimination, says the plan misses the mark. They have people in place uh, to do this work already that are being paid. This is what HR is for. Um, you know, the accountability is the problem. They, they know where the racism is. They've already seen the racism. They know where it's at. They've done the studies. Uh, the problem is they're not willing to hold accountability for the people that are doing the harm. Despite those objections, Shore says the racial justice plan will be implemented as soon as possible. You know, six votes is good enough to move forward and start doing the work to make sure that our city government is fair and equitable and, and, uh, and we're able to onboard and and explain to people, you know, racial sensitivity and other things within our cities. Lansing has about 800 employees that will be impacted by this new plan. City Council President Peter Spatafore tells me that department heads will be trained first. Your neighborhood reporter in Lansing, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.